And when we first spoke, um, initially when we started talking, you asked me all these questions about my business and what I do and, and all these kind of things. And to be honest with you, I thought that you may be trying to get me into what you were doing. Like, like, let me find out what you're up to. And it really shocked me at the end of the call. You said something quite interesting. You're like, um, uh, how can I serve you? And I'm just sitting there like, whoa, what, what question is that? That's, I've never been on a call before when someone has said that at the end so clearly and so distinctively, like the word serve, like is such a, um, interesting word. Right. And from there, I'm like, this person's amazing. I have to, I definitely have to speak to her now. And I thought it was so beautiful. And I just wanted to share, like, ever since I heard that, like I've been for people who I speak to on, on calls and just anyone really, um, I come from a frame of contribution and wanting to share Mm -hmm. and wanting to, um, how would you put it, uh, serve them. Um, so I'd love to talk about that. Like, where did that come from? And, and I guess, how's that affected you and your life and your business? Wow. Gosh, that's an interesting question. And I suppose a really, really long history. Um, I've been in business for just over 30 years now. And I suspect that when I started, I probably had a different theory or a different approach that had to do with, you know, oh, you have to compete. You have to you'd be very competitive to be in business and to get ahead and get clients and all that sort of thing. And I, looking back, hindsight being 2020, I would say that was a time of struggle, a time of push mm-hmm. and hard, really, really hard work. And you know what? Interesting. I don't know that I can peg exactly when or how or why that changed. I think it was kind of a gradual evolution over time that I kind of morphed into an easier way that also suited me that um, I don't I don't enjoy high pressure salesy anything. It's just I've never resonated with that. I remember having a sense of, oh, I have to learn how to do this. I have to learn how to write the 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 really pushy buy now, buy now, but wait, there's more you know, get a Ginsu steamer and a <laughs> whatever. Um, and I never liked that. And I think a lot of that came from, um, gosh, 1980s, hardcore sales kind of stuff. Brian Tracy and uh, Amway, Amway. Mm-hmm. And as much, and I, I have nothing against Amway or any of the multi-level marketing things. I like their products generally, but I know that the old style sales of, um, when you're connecting with people, it was a sense of seeing them as they, as if they were dollar signs instead of humans. And I found also that when people connect with me, they connect with me in two ways. They are either coming to me because something's going wrong and they're needing help or there's a gap there's, and maybe it's, I even go, even something going wrong is probably pretty harsh, but there's a gap that they're looking to fill to shore up. So they're reaching out to me or they're reaching out to me because they're doing really well and they're now wanting to take it to transcend, to go to a higher level. They're, they're not reaching out to me because they want me to sell them something. So <laughs> I think over the years, I just found an ease of interacting from a place of, I I don't need anything. What I want is to create connection and ask the question always first, how can I help you? And I guess, you know, if you want to, if you want to look to common literature in there, it's the old Stephen Covey seek first to understand and then to Mm -hmm. be understood. Um, I think there's an amazing amount of wisdom, but mostly it came from how it made me feel to, uh, to be curious. And it was, it was really interesting because I had a chat with some friends when I first received your email that was explaining what you were, what you were doing. And I went, Oh, that feels really nice. I love being asked to be on a podcast. That's really <laughs> awesome. Um, and then of course, like everything, the thought process of, well, what's sitting underneath this? What's, where is it coming from? And I went, 
what if it's not coming from anywhere except from wanting to connect and 